Hello and good day. Um, I'm Niels and we will continue to parse expressions. What we haven't done so far is actually parsing literals like true and false, false, that is called, and uh, numbers, strings. Well, actually, if we go into expression, we will see Google literals. They are they're there already, so that's good. We only want one type of numbers, which is um, floating point numbers. So we will introduce number. Um, it's F66. And there is already a problem because we can't compare <laughs> um, those. But like this, it's okay. We will write a function that is just, you know, parse, parse number. And the number is quite a bit complex. If you look at uh, this thing here, we ha might have um, a dot in there and the numbers following, we might have, you know, after this dot, some E sign. So what we will do is just have, okay, we need first, some, uh, some numbers in this case is that um, we might have a dot um, followed by however many numbers we want right and then the third part is maybe a count as an e which may or may not have the minus sign in there um, so writing a parser for that that's you know that's okay Um, so take while uh, let's see num character is digit that sounds nice of course there's also um the thing that there may or may not be um, hexadecimal numbers and stuff like this, but we will ignore this for now, for simplicity's sake. So, okay. Um, that's the, the first part. Um, the second part, too, you know, is uh, we, we still take numbers, but we precede them with a dot. So it's we use this char to recognize this dot. And then we have this. Oh my. And then finally, there's also, you know, we, we, we can just wrap this in an optional parser directly. Um, this is, all of this is optional. Um, right. And um, what else? Part three, that is, uh, we take the E. So it's basically the char. And then there may or may not be a number and a, a minus. Which uh, but this is also a character. To designate very small numbers. And then um, who what else? Now we can again have as, as many numbers as, as we want, which is again this thing here. But we have to have at least one. 
And we have all of this, you know, and um, this is just, uh, it's, it's all of this is a tuple and, and to have sequences like this, you just wrap them into a tuple and the tuple combinator. A lot of this again is optional. I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't used num supremes before, but by the way, this this dot opt that's that's not num. In num, you would write instead opt char. And, yeah, like this method, which is um, num supreme. Um, part three is, by the way, the exponent. Um, I don't know what what nach Kommastelle is in English, so I am I'm, I'm ignoring that. Um, it's not. I don't. I just don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just do not know. But again, we use the tuple parser to combine them. And we have like these three steps and we use the tuple parser to combine them. How remember that is. Part two and the exponent. Um, We do not uh, want um, want to have this tuple. We want to um, get the number that our parser has just recognized. We want not the number. I'm sorry. We want um, first. We want um, the string slice that we have just recognized with our parser, and we're going to do just that. Using recognize. Wait. In the end, this is, by the way, the better option. It also uh, works with negative stuff. And uh, that's that recognized float is just you know, a brilliant way to do this. And we will, in the end, use this. Use this digit one, which of course, again, it's a bit more brilliant. But you know, we could just use recognize on uh, our parser here, and we'd have the, the floating point part. Well, we will not need the floating point part. What we do instead is uh, let uh, I've just learned about the recognized flow that you will notice. <laughs> um, what is it? Where's the uh, The rest is, of course, we don't need this, but um, oh my, of course, this it's supposed to be unwrap, and we have like okay, input and F. That um, like this. Now we're fine. Now we're good. Um, oh my! Ah, okay. Let's continue this. We have um, our number parser, and we wanna. Actually, use it. So what we're going to, we're going to lose, you know, 
plug it in here. Parse number. And that's that then. And it feels good. So let's see what else we can do now that we have this going for us. We, um, should be able to parse this, right? It uh, works quite fine. The rest is zero. We see our numbers are here. This is, by the way, what we are parsing here. It's just, you know, okay, we see the function small. It just returns this number and all of this, it's, it's really nice, but it's beautiful. 